Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Car X Drift Racing Online. Not to be confused with Car X Drift Racing 2 on the mobile device. This one is for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And I thought I would do a little experimental video with the GTR to see if it'll drift on wheels that look absolutely ridiculous on it. So um, I wanted to start off this segment, show you kind of some of the settings I'm changing up here. Um, it does have 25 inch rims with a 70% profile tire. And although I don't know what the measurement of that is, I'm gonna go ahead and say they're pretty dang close to 44s. Um, they look really skinny, but we're gonna get on the track, see if it drifts, and then we'll go back and change. We might try some little tiny, tiny baby tire stuff, um, see if that works. So this episode's just for fun, uh, just to try out some new um, random tuning stuff. So. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for this, uh, leave a comment in the description below and I can certainly make some more uh, interesting drifting videos, but um, for the most part I'll be sticking to my normal tuning and uh, update releases and, and that kind of stuff with the gaming. So, um, Alright, so let's jump out there here and see what we can do with this little setup. It does not handle well. Um, it was bouncing around. The 70% profile tires, I think, just catch everything. So you try to kick it sideways and then the rear wheel grab and then it has wheel hop. And let's just say it didn't work out too well. So we had to go back to the drawing board, try out a couple other things as well, but um, I couldn't even hardly gain speed. I got up to 60 here and then I flipped and then the game just freaking launched me. So that's new. <laughs> Never seen that happen before, but uh, Kind of funny nonetheless looking like a dead turtle upside down all right so now we're gonna go in and uh change some stuff we're gonna drop down the spring length um see if that maybe does it if it was just too high and bouncing around i don't know if the tires are binding on the fenders even though they don't typically even when you like lower a car with normal wheel sizes and everything but you know what let's give it a shot again almost no acceleration and then as soon as you turn it just freaks out and clearly the game was not designed for this. Um, I did try to set this up so that I could do a wheelie as well, um, but even with the huge tires and the low tire pressure, I was not uh, able to get any wheelies going. So if you know a wheelie tune, go ahead and send that over to me or leave in the comments below and uh, we'll see what we think. Um, don't forget to like the video today, guys. I really appreciate all the likes. Uh, it does help quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm right now. They're heavily weighing the likes, so big thumbs up on that. No pun intended. Uh, also, if you want to subscribe for future videos, they're not typically like this video where I'm just kind of messing around. They're a little more serious uh, most of the time, but figured, you know what, we'll try it. We'll have some fun out on the track, and you can see it was quite a struggle drifting with this wheel setup. Got a little more speed going, but just couldn't hold anything still. So let's jump over to the baby wheel. We're gonna drop the profile of the tires down to 25%. Um, I need to take that track width in a little bit too to make it look a little bit more normal. Um, see if we can tuck those in. Might have to add a little bit of suspension so that it's not just grinding on the frame. Kind of a funny looking thing with 25 inch wheels with no no tire on them, super tucked. Uh, we'll just call that stance boy life, um, but not my cup of tea necessarily normally. Okay, so we'll give this a shot. Actually looks pretty cool rolling. <laughs> a little side shot there, still having this weird situation where they're just freaking out and I don't know if it's the steering input. I did have to use a controller for this instead of my normal um, steering wheel setup because I unfortunately dislocated my shoulder over the weekend playing some volleyball. So uh, as soon as my shoulder heals up, I'll be able to play on the wheel again. But uh, until then, I will be stuck on the controller. All right, so now we went down to the lowest rear, rear tire size, the biggest, and uh, with the suspension all the way down, it didn't even touch the ground. It just did like a standing burnout. I wasn't holding the brakes or anything, it just wouldn't move. So, kind of funny looking that you can just sit there, you get up to like fifth gear burnout, but uh, we'll have to go adjust the suspension a little bit, make sure that that rear bumper gets off the ground so we can see if it actually works. And at the end of the video today, I will say, one of these setups actually works pretty well for drifting once you get the hang of it. So, stick around till the end uh, and we have some funny content there where it's actually drifting. 
So, uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching any whistling diesel videos, but uh, we're going for a little Carolina squat here on the squatted trucks um, with the GTR. And it's really funny because I thought, wow, you know, it is kind of looking up at the sky. And then uh, here in a moment, I'll switch to the inside view and you'll notice that you really can't see anything when you're driving this thing. All you can see is like the walls kind of. Um, so I tried to drift like that and it just, oh boy, yep, yikes, okay. So we gave it a shot. It's a, it's a funny looking concept, but uh, I think we need to revisit the drawing board. So let's try to drop the rear down, make the rear wheels more normal size for drifting, and then we're gonna do these tiny little baby front tires and see if that does it. Um, Chelsea Denofa did a video on this drifting on uh, a donut spare out of his, uh, on a real car in real life. And uh, it was a really funny video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But he put little donut spares on the front of his BMW, I believe, or maybe it was his Mustang, I can't remember. And uh, it actually drifted really well. So then it gave me some uh, ideas and I thought, let's try some little baby front wheels, make sure that that front bumper's off the ground. And here we go controls way better than anything else that I was driving and then I noticed it had a ton of understeer obviously there's almost no grip in the front so if you turn while you're driving it just kind of goes straight but what I figured out is if you really huck it into the corners um, you can really let the rear of the car drift you around the corners and that's kind of the same thing that happened to Chelsea Denofo when he was doing it in real life is that he realized you know obviously it's gonna have a bunch of understeer but if you huck it into a corner and mash the throttle um, a lot of that weight's on the rear tires and the front just need to be there for kind of a control. And you can see I'm starting to get the hang but a little bit better here and then I end up crashing. But uh, it was just a lot of fun to mess around with these tunes even though they're never going to be great functionally for, you know, what we actually do competitively. But uh, nonetheless, it was fun. Let me know what you think of today's video, guys. Um, really appreciate you watching and uh, if you want to see more like this, please let me know. Leave a comment below for some ideas. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and we will see you next time.